Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a TV Trophy Championship match. It's one fall with a 30-minute time limit. Introducing in the blue corner from South Africa, weighs 268 pounds, Colonel De Beers. His opponent in the red corner makes his home in Florida, weighs 286 pounds, Larry Oliver. We are getting ready for our TV title match, Colonel De Beers against Larry Oliver. Joining me in the crow's nest right now is the Bart man, Bart Sawyer. <laughs> this is going to be a dandy. De Beers putting his trophy on the line against challenger Larry Oliver. And uh, the reason that uh, Bart Sawyer is up here right now is you just missed a match between uh, uh, Al Madrill and uh, uh, Dino. He, he drew the guy with the snake on the top of his head, Nick Danger, and they battled to a draw. Well, one thing about Al, when the match ended, Al was on his back counting the, the bugs on the ceiling or something. I, <laughs> but it, no, we'll let them fight yeah, yeah, we will. Hey, uh, coming up on uh, April, well, this, uh, this Saturday, April 3rd, of course, we'll be right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. Lots of action planned. Get your tickets early. And then on Wednesday, April the 7th, the first Wednesday in April, we're going to be back up at Charlie Mack Sports Pub in Seattle, just a couple of miles north of uh, SeaTac Airport on Pacific Highway there. And, uh, Bart, I understand Ryuma Go is coming into town. I'll tell you what, Ryoma's been here time and time again. He's a great international competitor. He's coming over on that big bird from Japan. I'll tell you what, I called him a friend, but he's allied himself with Jesse Barr. They're the world championship wrestling international tag team champions. So uh, we're going to see what happens. But they are going to be at Charlie Max and SeaTac in Seattle. We're going to take that big I-5 drive to Seattle and check it out. There you go. Tickets are available right now at Charlie Max. You must be 21 years of age or older to enter and have ID. And then on April 10th, right here at the Portland Sports Arena, Ryuma Go is going to be here. He, in that, at that point, is going to team up with his partner, Jesse Barr. And I understand that the international... Tag Team Championship belts are going to be on the line. That's right. It hasn't been decided who they're going to compete against, but I'm hoping to find myself a partner, maybe throw my hat in the ring to get a chance at those international straps. They're valued. They're recognized all over the world. One of the most powerful tag team straps in the whole wide world, and I'd like to get my shot at it myself. Well, that's going to be next Saturday right here at the Portland Sports Arena, April the 10th. Something very special is going to be going on on April the 17th, another very special Saturday. I got to tell you what, what's coming up on the 17th to me is more important than any wrestling title, anything else in the whole world, Don Cost. It's helping the homeless, helping the Portland Rescue Mission. That's right. Sandy Barr is going to do something special. He's pulling out all the stops. He wants to help the rescue mission by donating food. And he told me what he's going to do is going to cut some special ticket prices, providing you bring down a can of food. Now, coming up on Saturday night, April 17th, kids, check this out. Grab you a can of green beans. Grab you just any kind of canned good out of your mom and dad's kitchen and come on down here because it's going to be kids. One dollar with a can of food in the general admission section. Adults, just two dollars with a can of food. Wow. And if you want to get up close and personal, yeah. ringside seats, just three dollars with a can of food to help the Por Portland Rescue Mission, helping those good folks down there. They provide food, clothes, shelter, counseling to the homeless of Portland, Oregon, and helping those good people is more important than any wrestling title. But I'll tell you what, you can come down here and help those people by watching the number one sport in the whole world, professional wrestling. Now tell me what's going to be happening at Hall Chiropractic Clinic at 4219 Northeast Hancock on that same day, April the 17th. Well, I'll tell you what, myself, Max Steele, Larry Oliver, and C.W. Bergstrom are going to be there. And what's going to be going on at the Hall Chiropractic Clinic is if you bring down a can of food, 
You can get a fitness, stress, or physical examination absolutely free just by bringing down a can of food. The good doctor's going to pop you into place, look at you, check out your physical fitness, your stress evaluation, your fitness evaluation. He's going to evaluate you every which way he possibly can. <laughs> so bring you a can of food and get evaluated. All right, that's going to be at the Hall Chiropractic Clinic. That address again is 4219 Northeast Hancock in Portland, Oregon, Saturday, April the 17th. Now, I'll tell you what, what you're going to want to do. want to write that down, and when Colonel DeBeers comes out of the ring, you might want to give him that address because Larry Oliver is doing a number on the head, neck, and shoulders of <laughs> Colonel DeBeers. You bet. He's going to be a candidate for any chiropractor, DeBeers is. And, but DeBeers just got a shot and a jab right into the face Ooh. of uh, Larry Ooh. Oliver. Right in the bread basket. Yeah, and now he puts an elbow on the back of Larry's neck. Here comes a whip right at you. Larry Oliver into the rope. Ooh. Oh, man. You I'll tell you what, that takes the wind right out of you, hits you in those solar plexus, knocks the wind out of you, puts you down. But I'll tell you what, Larry being the uh, superbly, superbly conditioned athlete that he is, look at that. Wow. Held that Colonel DeBeers right up there. Put it right to the chops. Whoa. That's what it's all about. He bottomed Ooh. out right on the Colonel's head. And our right hand turns the Colonel around and puts Ooh. it outside. Good night, Irene. Wow. And the colonel comes back with a right hand right in the bread basket, and here Ooh. comes the... Oh, man. i tell you what, I hate to see that. The, the, the ropes in professional wrestling can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Yeah, because the, they're not really ropes. That's a steel cable under That's the... That's an aircraft cable. I'll tell you what, when you bring that throat down across there... Oh, yeah! Come on, Layla! Look oh. at this! Right uh, there! Well, I tell you, there was an exhibition of strength on the part of Larry Oliver as he suplexed Colonel DeBeers, dead weight, right back into the ring. That's what you call intestinal fortitude, Don Koss. The man was out. He couldn't hardly breathe, but he still had it in him. Had it deep down in to pick him up, bring him back. Ooh, check. Ooh. That man, hurts. Oh, man, I tell you, these guys are really going at each other. I tell you, you got to be here this Saturday night and enjoy all this in person. Wow, a rope burned right across the face. we got a lot of folks here tonight, uh, Bart, that are enjoying these matches. In fact, uh, I understand that Vicky led... Uh, Lidstrom, Lidster, that's Vicki Lidster, you know, she's having a birthday. Yeah, Vicki's having a birthday here at the Portland Sports yes, Arena. Yes. I'd like to invite, invite all the kids down here to the Portland Sports Arena, spend your birthday down here, say hello to the wrestlers, get your Polaroid picture taken with the wrestlers, anything like that, come on down kids, join it, it's fun, it's exciting, and I do want to say something right here, kids, just say no, you can't be an athlete. You can't be a success. You can't be anything in life until you learn to say no. You can't even be a good human being to yourself or anybody else unless you say no. Here comes the colonel. Ooh. Got Larry by the nap of the neck and slams him face first into the turnbuckle. And those turnbuckles don't come up soft either. No, they don't. There's a knee right in the midsection delivered by the colonel. A lot, of, pe a lot of people may say those turnbuckles are soft. But all they are is just reinforced wraps. They're solid and old. Oh, they will ring your bell. <laughs> and the colonel ringing uh, Larry Ooh. Oliver's bell right now with a forearm smash across Ooh. the chest. Boot to the midsection. You bet. That Another boot just to the midsection. Oh, come on, Sean. You got to get him out of there. That may look like a knee going in there, but that's a boot right into the... That's a big old combat boot. And yeah. if the people haven't noticed, the colonel doesn't even wear wrestling boots. He wears those... Government issue, South African government issue, combat boots with that steel toe in them. Uh, oh, yeah, Larry. A couple of singers by Larry there you Oliver. Go, Larry. Come on, Big Daddy. Now I think Larry's right. going to bring that title home. He's going to bring that trophy home, put it on his mantle. Oh, look out. Into yeah. the turnbuckle goes the Colonel. And the, wow. Big elbow, Don Cost. About took the Colonel's head off, put it in the front row. One, two, and the Colonel, I'll tell you, the Colonel knows where he is in that oh. ring. He just puts his foot out over that bottom rope, forces a break. I tell you what, that is the mark of a ring veteran such as the Colonel. He always knows where he's at in the ring. He always knows what's going on. You may think you have him a dot a little, a little bit, but he always knows. Oh, look at this, Larry. Look at where, that, where, at where's that. he gonna go? Here's where's he gonna? Go? Ring. Wow. Determination. The Oliver backbreaker. Backbreaker. This could be it for the Colonel. And again, oh. he puts his foot over that bottom rope. Taking, taking his short way out. Force to break. The presence of mind, even in pain. That's right. That's you. Always got to know where you're at in that ring. Always got to know. Into the ropes goes Colonel DeBeers coming up a hard go oh, by, by and Larry Oliver. Goes through the building too. Oh, come on, Larry. Come taking on, him out Daddy, to dry. Take him out. Oh. Over the top rope goes Colonel DeBeers. I'll tell you what, Don Cost. 
I'm going to go back to the dressing room. I'm going to get that Popeyes down for the victory celebration as Larry Oliver <laughs> becomes our new champion. All right. Bart, man, he's heading back to the dressing room. Getting, uh, I hope he's not celebrating too early, though, because the Colonel's coming back now, the series of smashes. He took something out of his fatigues. It was that metal... Uh, he used some kind of a metal object in his hand. Not exactly as brass knuckles, but he used them as leverage. And he really leveled Larry Oliver. And Larry is hurting. And the Colonel has been declared the winner. What? I didn't see the three count on Larry Oliver, but obviously he got it. Yeah. Referee Sean Barr counted to three. The fans here are absolutely going crazy. They're on their feet. They're yelling at the referee, telling them exactly what happened. Colonel De Beers reached out inside his fatigues, pulled out some kind of a metal object, put it in his fist, and that's when he uh, nailed Larry right on the chin. Larry went down and he was out and that's the way it's going to stand we'll be back with more action after this timeout 